So hello guys, today we're going to register our very first account on Taobao.com. So first of all, I'd like you to open any browser you would like. Uh, my favorite is Google Chrome because you can install special um, plugin, translating plugin from Google and it will translate the whole page. So Taobao.com is only in Chinese and it's quite difficult to see like to read and to understand where to click. So here I have a pop uh, popped up window or bar. If you don't have it, you can just um, have a right click with your mouse or with your touchpad and there would be translate to English um, option. You can translate it to any other language, let's say German or French or Portuguese or Spanish or Russian. But from my experience, the most accurate translation is from Chinese to English. And unfortunately, in the translated version, some of the names or functions, they are overlapping, so it's quite difficult to click on something. So here is, a, we can log in here, we can join for free, or we can uh, look at mobile version. And I just prefer to look at original uh, in Chinese, it's more clear, and we just click on the second one, join. So here is the standard uh, box of agreement uh, that we agreed with Taobao rules, regulations. Second one is um, that we agree that Taobao will get access to our personal information. And the last one is about um, regulations about electronic wallet, Chinese electronic wallet Alipay. Because it is automatically connected to your Taobao account. Most of the sellers, if there is some kind of problem, if they need to refund, uh, to refund, they send it there. So here we have to register our phone number. As I'm in Sweden now, here's Chinese character, Radian, and plus 46 automatically. So I just type my phone number. And on the right, there should be like a little green tick that would show that I typed enough numbers in my phone number. Okay, this one is uh, to verify that we are not a robot or not a new program. We need to click on these two little arrows and we need to, to slide it to the right. It should look green and it's cool. And after we click uh, the next button, so should be also a green tick. Okay, so we clean the orange button, continue. We can also register via uh, email address, but unfortunately this option is uh, available only for Chinese. So here is our phone number and it would be our login. We'll get a text message to phone number to confirm that it's not free and that we're owners, that we have access to the phone. Okay, I'm ready to type the message I've received and go to click orange button continue. Okay, so my phone number became my login for Taobao automatically. So now I have to set up a pay, um, sorry, a password. So it should contain 6 to 20 characters. It could be letters, it could be numbers, and it could be some signs of punctuation like dots, maybe a dash. And uh, your password must contain and numbers and letters. You can also use uppercase or lowercase as you like. So let me think about password. Okay, done. So here I have just to repeat it. Okay, two green ticks means the match and cool. So just to repeat, our phone number would become our login for Taobao. So in this uh, little box we can change our login for Taobao if we'd like to. And now for some reason it says that I must change. So okay, let me think of something. Maybe it would be Sweden and Russia. Okay, Sweden, Russia 1. Continue. So we 
if we'll look at the address in the browser, it's passport.alipay.com. So Alipay is the name of that internet wallet, which is linked to Taobao. Um, so we're going to be redirected to Alipay to finish our registration. Okay, so something went wrong, probably because uh, Chinese websites, they don't really work fast abroad. So I have to uh, re-log in to Taobao. So I have to type um, my login. It would be Sweden Russia one and my password. Okay, and here we can see a little window for capture to verify that we're not robots. And please pay attention to lower and upper case. And in theory, on the right from that box where we typed capture, here should be a little green tick, which would indicate that we typed it correctly. If not, we have to retype it. Um, but now I don't see it, so I'll just try to click continue. Okay, so we're back to our Taobao and we can see, what can we see? That here is our login, Sweden Russia one, and here it's also our login, little information about our account, like how many purchases we did and how many parcels that we're expecting to receive and so on. Okay, so let's go into our account. We can uh, click on th this little link or we can also click on this little orange face. This is how our account looks like inside. And again, everything is in Chinese. If you'd like, we can translate everything into English and we will see what is what and it will help us. So basic information, our login, email, so we haven't set it up yet. And phone number and last. Let's add our email address. So I clicked on add email and unfortunately I've not been redirected to Alipay again. So I have to re-log in to Taobao account. There is something wrong with the connection today. Okay, so we're back to our personal cabinet. It looks slightly different, but still most of the options, they're here. Like we can translate to have a look again. So on the left, we can see our shopping carts and the things we bought recently and some stuff and at the top menu we can see the most important account settings so we have a variety of security settings or personal information or account binding so in security settings we can let's go on, we can change our telephone number set secure questions and personal information we can add shipping address modify our avatar and we can also bind our account with um, Chinese blog blogging system or to our internet wallet account, but only Chinese Alipay. Okay, so we are back to our page and here we can set up an email as a login. So why do we need it? Because in case something would happen with our phone, like we'll lose it or maybe it would be out of service you could, would have to have a chance how to log in so we just click on it we're going to add an email okay so same procedure we need to receive a text message and type in the verification code and click the orange button continue okay you've received a text message continue okay so here we can type our email address and continue so we've been told that uh, an email verification email has been sent to this email address so I will just go, have to go to my mailbox and check it. OK, 
Okay, there is a one new letter. I can see it. And this is from Vincolipe or Tobo, doesn't matter. So we can click on this orange link or we can copy this long, long, long three lines into a browser. So the, any way you like. So I prefer to click. Okay, so we've, our email has been successfully added. To be sure, we can just uh, translate into English and read the same thing. And I'd like to return to my Taobao. Okay, so we're back to into our account, personal account space, and we can see here is our email, our phone number, and the date we logged in last time. So this uh, little bar, it should, it could be different colors from this orange yellow to green, so it indicates how much have we filled in information. So the first little lamp shows that, okay, we cannot leave comments and reviews to different uh, goods and items because we haven't filled in a lot of information about ourselves. So what can we do for to get it green. So here, for example, we can set different security questions. So we can also translate everything to English and have a look and read. And maybe it would not really have perfect translation, but it will give you an idea what's the what do you have to do. Okay. So email, phone number and so on. Okay, so after we, let's say, we chose an item we'd like to buy, we need to pay and after it should be delivered somewhere. So in this uh, menu, the third from the bottom is a shipping address. Yes, this one, third from the bottom. So we just click on it and we have to write down the address in China. So here is country. And here in the box we need to write maybe a street or house number, apartment number, zip code, okay, receivers and phones. So let's translate to have a look. Okay, so location, China, mainland China, there is also possibility to choose Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, Malaysia, maybe, and other overseas or other. So if you're not in China, you have to pick overseas, but unfortunately only few shops they sell abroad and the ship is abroad. So you have to, in most of the cases, you have to type in your Chinese address where you live, maybe where your friends live or maybe where the company who's going to ship your goods live. Okay, and also in China you must write down phone number of a receiver and you can set up uh, this address is defa uh, default. So if you will not type in Chinese phone number, it means that mo it's more likely that your parcel would never arrive and never reach destination. Because in China it works everything with the courier services and when they get a parcel they always call. They rarely just go and knock on the door and they deliver. And I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.